Well, welcome. Uh, Tim Farewell here. I have a quick tip for you today about uh, using other packages in R. Now, one of the things I love about R is that there are so many intelligent people all around the world who are writing packages which uh, expand the functionality of R and allow us to easily do things that would take us a long time to do if we had to write all the code ourselves. So there's two steps that you need to go through in order to uh, download and use a package um, in a particular R session. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to download a package. So let's say you want to uh, download the ggplot2 package, um, which produces really beautiful graphs. The way you would do that is you would uh, install the packages first. So you say install dot packages um, and then this is important you put uh, the name of the package in quotes um, so it, it might be gg plot 2 for example or whatever the name is of the package that you want to install um, the name goes here in brackets and that's really important and then you run that code and that will install the package um, now when it comes to actually um, using that package, downloading it is one thing, um, but then you need to actually tell the R session that you want to use that package in this session. And there's two different ways that you can do that. Um, and this is a little bit confusing. You kind of go, well, why would you have two different ways of just saying, use this package? And so that's what we're going to look at in this video now. Um, so the two ways to tell R, yeah, I want to use this package are um, the library function and the require function. Um, so what, what we're going to do is have a look at the differences between those and hopefully that'll clear up um, some misunderstanding around this. Um, so <clears throat> there are, uh, as I said, two, two different ways. What is the difference? Um, effectively, if we, if we look at the two different ways, um, if we want to load a, a package name, as I say, we've got library. Um, and then you put the name in here, so the name of the package, or um, require the name, okay? Um, and that's the name of the package. And the difference here is there's obviously no quotation mark around that package name. Um, so if it was require ggplot, um, you know, effectively that's what it'd do. And it would go ahead and load that uh, that package. Again, we can type in library ggplot2 and it will do the same thing. So what is, what is the difference between these two approaches? And uh, they both seem to work. They both seem to tell R uh, to use the package and they do. Now, the main difference between library and require comes uh, for me when you are using um, that, that require or the library function in another script or in a function itself. So I have um, two scripts here, which I'm going to call with the source. So when you see something that says source and then uh, the name of another R script, you can see I've got two other scripts here, one called library test.r and one called require test.r. Um, and when, when you have source, it, it literally runs that um, file for us. So first of all, I'm just making sure I've got my working directory set. And in this case, what I want to do is run this library test. And you can see here, it's got um, a couple of print statements. Um, then this library function where we're loading a package which doesn't exist. So this package is called kids love strawberries. Um, and this line here should print after uh, this library has failed to, to run, okay? And we have exactly the same script here for require test. The only difference here is that um, rather than library, it's saying require, okay? So we've got two scripts which are pretty much identical, um, except one is using require to load it and one is using library. So. Um, let's run those scripts now. Uh, we'll just get rid of those. So we're going to run the library one, first of all. 
and you can see here in the console what has happened. Well, let's pull it over there. Um, in the first case, uh, we have run this bit of script and we've got the first line. So this line occurs before the library statement, um, but none of this happens. So the second line didn't print out. Uh, this line occurs after the failed library statement and none of this additional code ran, okay? So when uh, the library function failed, it effectively stops the script at this point. Now let's try the same thing running the require script. So we're using the source to run this script here, require. We're gonna run that, uh, run. And now, so here, this is what's happened. We've run that source code. Um, and the first printing statement here, this line occurs before the require statement. It also prints out the one after the require statement and continues on down this. So the main difference here is that if you use require, yeah, it gives you a warning message that there is no package called kids love strawberries, just like what happened in the library function, but it didn't stop the rest of that script from running. Um, so the main difference is if you are, you know, if you're just developing code, um, I would really encourage you to use the library function because if it's not loading a package, um, you really want to know about it. It saves a lot of head banging and going, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? Um, if you're embedding it in a function um, and you know, or you're packaging this code up for somebody else and you um, have a number of different ways of, of running that code, um, I would probably suggest that you use require function um, and particularly if you're embedding this within other, other functions as well, um, just so it doesn't stop everything working after that. Um, so library is what I use normally when I'm just building code, but when I'm loading lots of packages um, as part of another major project, I'll tend to use the require statement. Now, I hope that's cleared some things up. Um, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me at hello at timfarewell.co.uk. Love to hear from you. Um, and let me know how you're getting on. Okay, keep well. Thanks very much. Cheers.